Hey guys, John Rettinger here with John4Lakers.com. I'm sure you guys have seen there are a lot of tech surveys going on, um, and everybody's leaving some great answers to it. But um, one guy in particular, uh, iHarrison30, or Harry, you may know him. I'll put a link to his channel in the sidebar. Created his own tech survey. So I'm going to try and answer Harry's survey, uh, as he's calling it. Just got back from a 13-hour orientation, so this is a nice way to unwind before I go out. So. Let's get started. Uh, his first question is, what is the main OS you use today? I use OS X Leopard, the most current version. It's my, my OS of choice. Uh, I use Windows at work when I have to, but my main OS uh, at home is OS X Leopard. How many desktops do you own? Uh, currently, I just own the one iMac, a 24-inch, 2.8 gigahertz that I'm making this video on. Is my uh, dedicated desktop machine. How many laptops do you own? Currently, actually, I don't own any. Um, just sold my MacBook Pro for the iMac, but I will be getting a new laptop in the next month or so. But for right now, big goose egg. What is the highest spec system you currently use? Well, as I said, it's my iMac. It's got 2.8 uh, gigahertz processor. Uh, I just upgraded to 4 gigs of RAM. I think it's a screamer. Um, I love it. So that's the most high spec thing I've got right now. Highest spec system you've ever used? Um, used regularly, I assume he means in a system that uh, I you know, either owned or uh, used on a daily basis, is uh, still the iMac. Um, it's only a few weeks old and it's still the highest spec uh, one that I've got. To see the full specs, check out the uh, unboxing. Uh, which piece of software do you run that is the most system hungry, i.e. Photoshop, Final Cut? Um, that's a good question. I gotta say Parallels, actually. Uh, Parallels Desktop 3.0 it lets me use Windows um, on my Mac, and I've dedicated two gigabytes of RAM to that. Um, I don't use it very often, maybe once a month, um, whenever I have to go to go into Windows for something. But right now, that's the most power hungry. Um, a non-emulation uh, software, I gotta say, would probably be iMovie, which I do most of my video editing. And other than that, I don't really do that much uh, processor hungry stuff. Um, and uh, what do you use for photo editing? Um, I use iPhoto for photo editing. It's great, it's really easy. One click for a uh, red eye, one click for whatever, the zit reduction. You gotta just tap it. Your zit's gone, your eyes are red, aren't red, and your face doesn't look so shiny. Um, this is always a nice thing. Uh, what do you use for movie editing? I use iMovie 06, um, which is actually called iMovie HD. Um, I don't use iMovie 08, I just prefer the look and feel of iMovie 06. You can actually get it for free if you have iMovie uh, 08 from the Apple site. Just type it into the search. You'll find it there. Current web browser, Firefox all the way. Um, Firefox for me has been the most stable, been most reliable. Uh, I'm not distant Safari. I think it's a great browser. But I came from Firefox when I switched over to Mac, and I was just used to it. Um, so that's my primary browser. Although I've, I've tried um, Safari, as I mentioned. I've tried Camino. I've tried Opera, I've tried Windows Explorer, um, and I tried Netscape back in the day. So I really tried them all. I think Safari, I'm currently using, I believe, 3.0, has been the uh, best for me. Uh, what do you prefer? OS 10, Microsoft Windows, Linux, Unix, BOS, or any other? OS 10, all the way. Um, at least for me, it's been the most stable. I like to not have to worry as much about viruses or I worry as much about computer crashes. I like the fact that I can change machines really easily and just use Time Machine or uh, Migration Assistant to uh, change data and migrate over to a new computer. Um, I like the ease of use. Um, when I need ease of use, I like the complexity. When I need to get into programs that are more depth, uh, more in-depth. So overall, I think it's a more elegant and well-rounded operating system, at least for me. Uh, Windows for some people is the best way to go, but in my opinion, it's OS 10 all the way. So let's scroll down here and see the next couple questions. Uh, the next question he has is, uh, if you've used Windows before, which has been your favorite version? Uh, Windows 95, Windows 98, etc. Um, well, I've only been with the Mac for a year and a half, so I've used them all. Uh, I used Millennium, I used 95, I used 98, I used 2000, I used XP. And uh, actually, I have not really used Vista very much. But my favorite, I guess, has still got to be XP. Um, you know, when I used it, it was great for the first you know, couple years. And as Windows generally goes, it starts to slow down. Um, but it was fine. I didn't have any uh, major issues with Windows. Um, just wasn't, uh, it wasn't doing for me what I needed it to do. 
um, if you've used Macs before, which is your favorite version, uh, OS 9, Panther, Tiger, etc. Um, can't answer that. Leopard was my first real exposure to the uh, Mac world. Um, so, can't answer that one there. Uh, do you have any tech-related qualifications? Um, I love it. Other than that, uh, no real qualifications or technological degrees. Um, my undergraduate degree or university degree was in liberal arts, and I'm getting my master's degree in business. Um, so no technical degrees, um, but just a love of technology. Um, out of the technology revolutionaries, which do you think uh, most inspires you? Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Steve Wozniak, Paul Allen, etc. Uh, interesting. You know, I think that uh, what Bill Gates did um, in actually growing a company from you know his garage, Paul Allen, is very admirable. Whether you love Microsoft or hate him, you at least have to respect what the company has done and what Bill Gates did for that company. Um, and now what he's doing uh, philanthropically. Um, he really is, a, is an amazing man and a fantastic businessman. So I really have a lot of respect and admiration for Bill Gates. Um, similarly for Steve Jobs as well. He took a company that was failing. Um, famous quote by Michael Dell, I believe, along the lines of, um, a shareholder asked him what he would do for Apple, and he said, I'd give the money back to the shareholders and sell the company. And that was before Steve Jobs uh, came back on. And that was the situation with Apple. It was a dark horse. It had some hardcore fans, but it was never going to have mass adoption. They had ugly designs. They had a non-elegant OS that wasn't very scalable or wasn't, wasn't terribly user-friendly. Um, and Steve Jobs came on and really created this cult of Mac, um, if you will, and revolutionized the products, revolutionized the operating system. So from a business standpoint and a marketing standpoint, which is my business, really have to throw a lot of respect for Steve Jobs and the Apple marketing machine. Uh, very few companies um, can charge the premiums that Apple does and really in the consumer's mind do no wrong. So much respect for, uh, for Steve Jobs. I can't go on with this question forever, but uh, try to make the video a little bit short for you guys. If you could have any gadget in the world not yet invented um, to help you, and what would it do, what would it do for you? That's a tricky question. You know, there's the obvious answer, time machine, go back in time and buy all the Google stock. Um, you know, but realistically, um, I'm attached to my mobile. I would like a more featured mobile, one that could do um, live video conferencing, one that had a great battery, um, one that could do flash video. Um, faster than 3G data, um, I want to hit a web page and have it load instantaneously. So I guess that would, I don't know, 5G at that point. Um, and something that uh, was adaptable to my needs. So if I needed something that was going to be used for internet, if the phone could adapt for internet, if I need something to type an email, the keyboard would adapt to me. Um, a device that would adapt to the user as a mobile communicator would really be my ideal and something that's realistic and I think probably coming in the next few years. Um, what search engine do you use? Google. That's easy. What is your favorite Apple product of all time? A lot of people are going to say iPod. Um, the iPod certainly revolutionized Apple, but my favorite product is the iPhone. Um, what they did for Safari Mobile was unbelievable. I use a browser all the time, and it's an unmatched experience. Uh, and I've tried the Windows Mobile versions. Uh, I've tried Skyfire. I've tried the new version of Opera. I think it's 9.5, but still nothing compares to um, Safari Mobile on the iPhone. Have you ever tried a Linux distribution? Uh, I tried Red Hat a little while back. Um, it was nice, I just didn't have enough time to play with it, so I can't really answer that one more in detail. Uh, can you program, and if so, what languages? I can do a little HTML, not too much, um, so, sorry. Uh, have you ever developed your own web page? <laughs> or for another person? Well, you guys check out www.johnfourlakers.com, which you should all know. Um, you know, I helped develop that. Uh, Armin did the majority of the coding, um, but he and I worked together on design and stuff. But as far as coding and programming, it's definitely him. But he and I uh, were co-partners and co-foundering, foundering, co-founding um, of the website. Which Office we do you use? Microsoft Office 2008 for Mac, and it's fantastic. I do not recommend Office 2007 for PC. The ribbon thing up there totally sucks. But Office 2008, definitely the way to go. So these are the answers to Harry's survey.
Hope you guys all found it a little bit interesting. And if you guys saw Harry's most recent video with his son, how you doing, Jude? It was uh, great to see you. You're a natural on camera, just like your old man. Um, hey, guys, have a good time wherever you're at. Saturday night here. I'm going out. Um, see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out www.john4lakers.com. Or uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'll put a link in the sidebar as well. And uh, you get some updates uh, and some more exclusive stuff. Anyway, talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, Jude. I forgot the rest of the lyrics to the Beatles song. Something, don't break a heart. John Lennon saying it. Something. Hey, Jude. Bad voice. Should never sing.